What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War, my Napoleon Total War, let's play as Great Britain. So to round off up on last time, we unfortunately did have to retreat out of Ren, Ren, Ren. Um, but it was for the better, because it meant I could deploy forces into Spain. And so I've captured Gibraltar because it was no garrison. And then I'm Arthur Wellesley is laying siege to Madrid, which I took which I defended a, a sally from them. Um, quite comprehensively, so they have a very weak force. And my plan is to attack uh, now. And then I also have this army under Alexander Abercrombie, who originally I was going to send to support my attack on Madrid, but because they had no garrison, uh, their army has been filled with um, garrison militias, armed citizenries, that kind of thing. It's not a very good garrison, so they're not needed to take Madrid, but they will head east and take Pamplona. And then Sir John Moore... Once Madrid's captured, his job will be to, to clear Spain of any roaming stacks. And then he will probably move up to take Barcelona and then Palma. But before I attack, uh, I have got a series of... I've got some money I can spend. So I don't need a dry dock there yet. So let's give you roads. I've also got this army under Michael Stowell, but they're going to hold fire. Um, ultimately, I want to provide, I want to put pressure on the French equally at all times. So let's get a drill school and an ordnance factory because I am going to want to recruit troops out of Copenhagen. Ultimately, actually, because I have, because I have this territory, I might move Nelson out now to pirate here. Then I can start to send Indiamen down here to secure these ivory trade trade nodes. They're not merchantmen. Indiamen, 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 Indiamen. Good. Oh yeah, Lovax Bridge. Heavy cavalry, 120 men, dragoons, King's German. Oh, so many good troops. But the first thing I want to do think. I actually need an army by the looks of it. Let's get the Earl of Uxbridge. Henry Paget. But yes, I'd like to recruit uh, another army. Another army, I know! But mainly because I've got the I've got the economy to do it now. I'm on firing and... well, not on all cylinders. I've got 11,000 per turn, which is a decent amount. Especially so, because, ooh, first rate, 106 gun first rate. Let's put get you down here with Nelson. That is a mighty battle fleet indeed. So that's Cartagena. They're not recruiting anything. Right, but let's attack Madrid. So last turn, they, uh, uh, what do you call it? Procrastinated quite severely. They just kind of ran around me, shoot at them with artillery, not moving forward. So I formed just a giant battle line and, and crushed them with massed musket fire. So this time around, I might need to be a bit more tactical about it. So let's do. Where do I want my artillery to be? I think I want to drive... I'll drive the the, the, the right, because it's easier for me to deploy on the right. So let's take you go. Oh, wow, one of you is knackered. Let's take you out. Let's get you out of it, actually. Three, three, four, five. I might put my artillery fairly central. There aren't really any great hills for me to drop them on. I mean, there's this one, but that's going to be too far out of it, I think. So I think I may as well just put them here. Because are they within range? My nine pounders are, but my six pounders are not. So you just need to stay limbered up, and you'll probably go out here. In which case, actually, I'm going to change my entire plan and deploy on the left. Let's just put you there. Let's put you there so you don't constrain the movement of my infantry. That's a good idea, I think. 
Then to go here to just kind of secure slash block off the town. Let's get my elites. And my remaining infantry. So you, you are going to stay with the guns. Because you're very, very, very depleted. How, uh, Hussars on the right with light infantry support. You should just keep it like that for now. Good. So then let's deploy you. Move up in a moment to secure the town. Uh, I might just move you up as well. Even though you're in range, oh, you're literally just on highways about moving you up. Even though they are within range, they could stand to be in a better position. Let's deploy them here. If it looks like they're going to be forming up in this general area, it's probably a good idea. Oh wow, they're moving up. They are moving up. So let's take... move up and start securing the town. Let's run into the town actually because it looks like they might try to get there first. Let's get you guys unlimbered. Yeah, these guys are going to be the first ones in a position to open fire. And the line's moving up. There we go. First shots have been fired. So these guys f might feel a bit isolated, but they're going to be good. They're going to have good artillery support. To be honest, actually, you might want to go here. There we go, the Arch Garrison Militia. This line infantry garrison is getting in position, which it probably doesn't want to do. I would very much like your, your colours, please. Get ready, men. Well, unfortunately, these are all heavily depleted, so not really concerned. Let's position them here. Secure this street.
much movement up. Because by the looks of it, we've taken the town. And we're engaging on the left, so I need to reorientate these troops out into a position where they can actually do some good. You yeah, just fire at them. You are charging the complete opposite way. So my left flank is doing very well. Like I said, these, these units are all depleted, so my men are just going to be very... My men are just strong. It's going to be difficult to make my men break. Let's just bring Wellesley around on the left. Oh, wow, that's a devastating cannon shot. Making a run for my guns. At your peril. Don't need to chase them down, because they're just a it's just a city battle. But yeah, this is the mighty garrison of Madrid. Reorientate my six pounders to hit this unit that's formed square very nicely for us. Yeah, the 15th Regiment of Foot should be able to dispatch this unit of armed citizenry very quickly. back into range. Well, that's it. They've all gone. They've utterly broken. The mighty garrison of Spain and the general's not even going to combat. He's not done anything to support his troops. Just end it. So we have secured huge, huge, huge problems. Victory. Well, I can't liberate, so I'm gonna have to. I mean, definitely peacefully occupy. I could, oh, I could loot it and earn thirteen grand, but it's just not worth it for the, for the public order. So where are their troops? Stack here, stack here, and that's it. So Nelson, you remain there. John Moore, who is now replenishing, thankfully. Let's move him up to hit this army. Oh, they've withdrew. Ah, oh, that's not really going to be a fight with that artillery. And you chase down Desi Mendez. So Spain has been captured. But what I need to do. Um, I might keep the college, because they're pretty happy. Well, then again, it's... Well, no. No, let's knock it down. The The research tree is not as expansive as the, as the one in Empire. Let's see, manufactory. The advent of vineyards has turned... Oh, market. Gunsmith. Gold mine. So which village is... Are there any villages left? Which you asked if I've not done Salamanca, that should be able to... Should balance out. Ooh, and I definitely need to upgrade their barracks, because I cannot recruit many interesting troops. Uh, so Brest, are you recruiting anything? You are not, but nevertheless, I'm probably going to want to take... Take away... A fifth rate... Parking in Brest, La Havre. Are you recruiting anything? You are. 
Let's take a 50 gunship of the line. Raid Le Havre, Calais. You're not recruiting anything yet. But similarly, let's take my smallest ship. Park it in your harbour. Good. So every single French port on the north northwest coast is under blockade. The only free one they have is Marseille. Oh, and um, Corsica. But Corsica has no barracks. Well, it has nothing to... Uh, it has nothing to actually stop me. It has no way of actually producing ships. Yeah, Kingdom of Portugal. Excellent. Our mighty coalition against Napoleon is forming. Although at some point I'm probably going to have to come back and kill you. But that's later when I have a mighty, mighty, mighty army spread across the continent. Yeah, right now, if I sat a fleet here in the Baltic, I've pretty much got all of the, uh, <laughs> I've got pretty much all of the Atlantic secured. So you're still on your way to Pamplona. You're going to finish off him, then you're going to go hit Barcelona. Cool. In terms of tech, things are still keeping on. Good. Norway's got cobbled roads. Excellent. Let's hit N10. So let's see what the French Empire has to say about this. Oh. The Austrians took Saxony, which is probably going to... No, they didn't. The Austrians took a French region, though, below Saxony. So this is going to be the interesting position. Eventually, once I take all of the French territories, or, you know, the bulk of them, when I've conquered Paris, um... I'm going to find myself in a position where I'm pushing east against pretty much all of my allies. I mean, you sabotaged it, but broke it down anyway. Let's get a members club. Swiss Jaegers and Brunswicker Sharpshooters. Sounds good to me. Let's take you. So is it still ivory? It is just... Oh yeah, you're that first-rate ship. You go take his position. You go secure more trade. As do you. Good. Go on, John Moore. Finish them off. Oh, of course they retreated. Yeah. Desi Mendez, you're down. And John Moore, march to Barcelona. So what have they got? Is it a good yield? Yeah, it's not a bad yield. Gunsmith, yes. Market, yes. Okay, first things first, actually, before I get ahead of myself. Barracks. Ordnance factory. Because the barrack opens up. Barracks at least opens up some more expensive troops. Troop options. Royal British Marines. Once Uxbridge is, rec is recruit, why should I just recruit them now? So how many Marines can I get? I can own three. Oh, beautiful. Actually, make sure I need to make sure I keep upgrading my stuff. So yes, the Austrians have taken. I can't remember if the Austrians have taken Prague or the French have pushed to Moravia. Well, to be honest, they've taken Vienna, so I, s I presume the French are just driving eastwards, but not northwards. I'm more than happy to let them push this way. Um, if it means they've got a more fun, wider ranging campaign. Sweet, so you're okay. So your clamour for reform is pretty low anyway. But it was only just a college, I suppose. If I move you out, you don't hate me. So I may well send Arthur Wells on to Pamplona. Send John Moore to Cartagena, where he will be picked up by a merchantman and sail to Palma. So let's have a look at Palma. Small garrison. Militia with Franco Javier Castanos. Get back to raiding. 
also spices. Hmm. So I think... Do I need a third fleet? So, because right now, with, with, the, with the blockading and stuff I've got going on, two fleets give me total fleet control, sea control. I can block off the Baltic, I can block off Gibraltar, and all of this is mine. When I get into the Med, I'll probably do a bit more running around. So maybe I want, might want another smaller fleet to support Nelson. Maybe. Maybe. God, the, so the Ottomans are gone. Yeah, the Ottomans are gone. Yeah, they are. The Russians took them out. And so did Prussia, I suppose, and they, they helped. Moly, moly. So you get coffee from these regions. Spices, coffee, coffee, spices. Spices would be handy. They're they're on the rise. But that's all my money spent. Madrid is upgrading. Good. Hit and turn. Oh, driving on to Pamplona. And the French are drastically trying to... Oh. Oh. Yep, the, anyway, the French are expanding eastwards, which is what I like. What's the point of playing Napoleon Total War if Napoleon isn't a beast? Or the French Empire isn't a beast? Playing as France is probably quite fun. Because you end up just churning out troops, as many troops as you can. Oh, are you lying in ambush? Fear not. Straight on to Pamplona. Maintain siege for now. Wellesley go over to hit Barcelona. Oh, nuts. Okay. I'd, cause I, oh, I'd like to capture the Santissima Trinidad, but I don't know if I'm good enough. To Cartagena. There you go, Gibraltar's fortified. Finally. Oh, let's fix Cadiz. Or Cadiz. Let's take my frigate. Sell them to Menorca. To just keep blockading. Steam powered factory. Good. One more turn, I'll have Grand Battery, which enables artillery barrage and the building up of the Ordnance Board, which should give me excellent artillery. So who's holding this? I can't tell. But the two remaining Spanish regions are under siege. So what else do I want to do? Let's bring the Earl of Uxbridge out. Oh, he's just a, oh, he's just a unit. Oh. Okay. Well, Marines, Marines, Marines. Let's get some Marines. And then recruit Black Bob Crawford and give him some rifle divisions. Then, where would I land? Would I send him into the Med? Well, if, well, if, if, uh, if John Moore's going to go... If John Moore's going to go Palma, maybe Corsica, then maybe Marseille, maybe. If Arthur Wells is going to take Barcelona to lose, and Abercrombie's going to go Pamplona Bordeaux, or do I recruit him and drop him in, in um, Rennes again? Retake this region and then just drive up through France. Because I'm, I'm happy to let this area just kind of wallow. But to be honest, Austria's still pretty big. Poland and um, Austria, Prussia is still pretty strong. I might go send my spy to go find out what the hell is happening. You've blocked my way. But yes, I want to keep an eye on what Napoleon's doing. I've spent all my naval recruitment money. Let's get some more tea. Ultimately, I'm getting to the point where I'm just not worrying about quite how many resources I'm producing, just I want to produce more of them because I think trading is fun. Uh, let's put one on here. 
to be honest, I might just go and nick that spices. There we go. It's got Nelson's mighty battle fleet. It's tempting to take them back to Cadiz, which will leave them exposed for a moment. Oh, I can't repair. Next turn, repair them, and then send someone to push this army out, this navy out here, because I want to capture uh, Santissima Trinidad if possible. And I've got a feeling it's probably you with those 140 guns. I'd very much like them. Uh, so let's hit end turn. The Austrians are war with Russia. Because they look like. They're pushing east. Ah! Merchantmen, frigates, Jean Jacques Etienne Lucas. Fair enough. Hey! That ship managed to sink three enemy ships. Infamy! Ah, oh, same again. Yep, as soon as they move Nelson out, retreat. Well, they're cheap troops. They treat their cheap units at least, but it also leaves the opportunity, the, the idea that maybe, just maybe. Well, no, I'm pretty sure the Santis Matria does that 140 gun ship, which would be a big old beastie. But I would love to capture it. Yeah, are the Russians fighting? Are the Austrians fighting the Russians? I don't think they would be. Otherwise, we'd be called into a. Uh, into a war with them or you know we'd be in involved in some way because they are allies allies to both of us so this, oh, oh god the mighty armada is formed so that's my artillery the ground battery's done so don't do fire and maneuver fit don't do fire and maneuver fire in advance um, maybe go for conscript infantry tactics reduces cost of militia which I don't really care about but what I do care about is the next level building black watch, royal marines, coal stream guards coal stream guards are the big one, the conic rangers oh yes oh I need to actually recruit oh yeah so, oh, what do I get you to actually do? Trade unions to get me Court of Appeals. I think I've got to, don't I? Unfortunately. Don't want to lose. Don't want to, don't want to start to fall behind in the tech race. Good. Sandy Bay. Dry dock. I've got barracks and jibs. I have a drill school. Nelson is repaired. You are going to fall back to Cartagena because this French navy is still on the loose. It's a big old navy. And I know it's not full of prime ships, but still. It's the principle of the thing. Actually, I might move you all to Jib. Might end up actually pinching some big ships. From here, redeploy them down to Nelson. Obviously, recruit some in. There you go. Just get. A, see, I can get one first rate, or I can get. I can get a second, well, a first rate, or a second and a third. So I'll get a second and a third. The big naval threats are down here. Um, but looking at the timer, I think we're coming up to the end of this part. So, oh, actually, let's go have a look at my marines. Oh, that's the that's a frigate. Fleet destroyed. I think that was my guy. Um, let's have a look at my. Oh no, they're not going to be here yet. Here, here till next turn. Sadly, um, I only got my nine pounders. Um, but yes, looking at the timer, this is the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time for the continued. Assault on the Spanish frontier.
This won't knock Spain out of the game, because they have Palma. So we do still have an opportunity for a mighty fleet to get the fleet battle against the Spanish Armada. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.